What's up, YouTube? We're back with a mystery box video. Actually, three mystery boxes. So this was Smart World's $15 hit or miss Labor Day mystery box. I just got them in. Um, they did 200 boxes. So I have three boxes to open. We're going to see what we can get. But before we get into all the details and all the fun stuff about it, I want you to do a couple quick things for me. One, hit that like button. I appreciate every like I get. And two, hit that subscribe button. Come on, follow. It takes five seconds. Click, click, done. Thank you. It's free. Enjoy. Hope you enjoy the content. Hope you enjoy the shorts. Hope you enjoy the random live streams I do too. Thank you for hanging out with me every time I post a video. But now we talk the mystery boxes. So, like I said, this was Smilewell's hit or miss Labor Day mystery boxes. There was 200 mystery boxes. And um, for 15 bucks, they had some ones that I really wanted. Um, so they had the Looney Tunes and the Teeth. They had the Freddy and Bugs, the Foghorn Leghorn, and the um, Yosemite Sam. I would love to get any of those, to be absolutely honest. Um, they had this Freddy Funko as Superman limited to 525 pieces. It looks like they have a Neo. They have a Disney Parks exclusive Gus. I would love that piece. They had the Chase Tiffany from The Bride of Chucky. They had a Chase Legend of Korra. Korra. They had a Chase Audrey 2. I, I love Little Shop of Horrors. So that would be such a fun pop to have. And they had a Captain America. Um... And a spring convention exclusive. So those are the top hits. Like I said, there was two in the boxes. They were hit or miss. So either we hit or we miss. So these are kind of like, these were reminding me of the Mystery Grail boxes. And as far as I know, I have never bought a Smile World Mystery Box. I don't think so. I don't think I've ever bought a Smile World Mystery Box. But we have three of them today. So I know what you want to do. Let's just open these. Let's open these. So here it is. Well, box number one just fell. But box number two. Let's open box. Let's open this box. See what we got. Come on, hit or miss. Let's just hit. I don't know if they sold out all these. They posted they may not have sold of all these boxes, but you know what? Hopefully they did. Because, you know, mystery boxes are hard to um, get stuff that's cool and awesome. I'm not looking at it. It is bubble wrap. So let's see. Boom. What do we got here? We have Zerg, a Hot Topic exclusive Alien Remix. Okay. That, that's kind of cool. What year are you? You are year 2020. That's kind of cool. I'm not a big fan of Alien Remix pops. Um, they're fun for what they are, but they are not my cup of tea. So I'm going to go with that was probably a miss. But I don't know. It's a cool pop, and yes, I do Disney stuff, but I don't know if I'm going to keep that one. It's always just fun to see what you get. And I have seen a lot of these, these um, Alien Remix pops. I saw a couple of them at uh, Party City, and it was, I don't know, I'm just not a, not a huge fan of the Alien Remix pops. It's just my own opinion. Alright, pop number two is also not in a protector. What do we get here? The Gamorian Fighter. You are a 20... 20 pop. The Gamorian Fighter. From Star Wars. So, so far, I have actually hit stuff that I would collect if I... You know, they're in the line of stuff I collect. So... Alright. Last pop. Last pop, and then we'll check prices and see how I did. I think right now I have taken a loss. So I think I've missed these pops. It's fine. They're fun. Um, all right. Last one. Last one. Last one. Last one. Last one. Come on. Where is so none of these are in protectors. So I'm going to go with misses all the way around. And boom. What do we get here? We got Morpheus. Morpheus is a 2021 20, pop. So he's a newer pop. Again, I'm pretty sure he's a miss, too. I'm pretty sure I took a loss on these as far as mystery boxes go. But let's um, check Hobby Database and see what they are coming out at. Because I am sadly that I did not get 
anything exciting. Like, they're cool, but I will probably not be keeping any of these. So let's just start with the Morpheus pop. Let's see what they say Morpheus is coming in at. And Morpheus is coming in at $13. So not, not, not a huge loss. Not bad, not bad. Okay. The Gamorrean Fighter. Boom, from Star Wars. I've never seen this pop in my life. The Gamorrean Fighter is coming in at, oh jeez, $14. So, boom. I mean, this, this almost looks like almost kind of like a break-even box. So, so, here's the sad part. I think this is probably my most expensive pop. The Hot Topic exclusive Zerg Alien Remix is coming in at... Sixteen dollars. Are you metallic? You are kind of metallic. I don't know. Hobby Database says it's just metallic, but I don't think it, it doesn't really look super metallic. But at least a little metallic. Yeah, he came in at sixteen bucks. All right, he was my most expensive pop. So overall, I would just say this was a break even. Nothing great. Nothing superb. I'm probably not keeping any of these, but it was fun. So for my first Spiral this box, uh, blah, 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 words, my first Spiral mystery box is is a miss. Um, yeah, I got nothing to say. You know, kind of, kind of a little disappointing. I would love to got one of those top hits, but like I said, these will probably end up on my Macari. So links below on all my all my stuff. Um, definitely go check it out. Also. Check out Smart World. They have a lot of good stuff. They do a lot of fun things. Um, they're one of the few legit companies that still do mystery boxes. So go check them out. Links below. That's all I got for you guys today. So until next time, take it easy. Have a good one.